So I want to talk about a search today that we did with one of our companies that I like to call the Leica Zillow Project. And the reason I call it that is our client is a commercial real estate company, and they're, we're looking for someone to come in who can handle all the data that feeds an application that they would need that their agents and brokers could have access to. So I almost think of this where I, I love Zillow because I'm very nosy and I like to look at all the real estate and see what it's you know going to be sold for. And uh, so I so my understanding was it was like that. But I in retrospect, I think we should have called it like a loop net because that's also an actual commercial real estate um, format that you can write a product that you can actually go to and find out all the information. But the only difference is this would just be for an internal, for the people internally. So can you just tell me a little bit more about what they were looking for? Yes. So this application is for their agents and brokers, so they can um, find out information and operating costs for the different properties. And um, they have data coming from all over the place, from third parties, from internally with the firm, and it's coming in all different formats, in structured and unstructured data. So they needed somebody to unify the data and like, clean it up and format it and streamline so everyone can use it, not just this application. Right, right. So I understand that, you know, the data people are really in high demand now, and there were some other challenges with this filling this particular role. So maybe tell a little bit about that. Right. Um, we have been getting like a lot of requests for people um, to recruit for like data engineers and data architects. So this skill set and the people are in high demand and they go off the market fast. Um, what also added a little bit more difficulty to the process is the client had an extra step in the interview. He wanted right. somebody who would take, um, he called it an exercise, but it was really a test. Test, <laughs> right. <laughs> a test. I think to build a data pipeline for him. And when we went out to the market with this, some people like turned it down right away. They, they did not want to do the exercise. Right. So it was important to find someone who would have sort of a personality that's willing to do whatever it takes to get the job and then get the job done. So you need even more of a match, a personality match, too. Right. Right. Also, so we dug in with the client to really find, the, you know, the, the benefits of, you know, working with them and working on the application and how it would be challenging and, um, and interesting. Uh, so then when we found the candidates, we could present all the positive parts of the application and then share the process and hopefully they would go along with it. <laughs> right. And I think too, the fact that like managing expectations, like when you find someone who could, you know, fill this role, but to let them know you're going to have to take this test, <laughs> you know, to get the job and then there's no surprise. Right. <laughs> exercise. <laughs> there's like someone willing, exactly. That there's someone like who's willing to do it and we didn't waste everybody's time. I think that was something that was like a vital piece of this. Right. Also, they needed somebody very experienced who could like anticipate the problems that they were going to have. Right. 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 So how did it work out? Like, how did it go with the interview process? Were there many people who interviewed? Right. So we presented four people for interview. Um, they spoke with two of them and then um, hired one who did take the test. <laughs> <laughs> and right, did, right. very well on it. Um, he really had the right personality to fit the, the, the team and the opportunity. He was so good natured about taking the test. Like it wasn't a big deal. He just right. wanted to do what it took to get the job. And then when he was on the job, he did whatever it took to get the job. Right. So not only just right the technical skills, but the soft skills that would also match the company to be placed at. Right, which is so important. really important. <laughs> yes. Yes. Absolutely. So what was um what was the finality? How did it all work out? Um, it worked out very well. So more than uh, 20 data pipelines were created and automated. And now the data was stored in the cloud, ready to be used not only by this application, but by other applications as well. Um, now the architecture is scalable and they could handle larger amounts of data if needed. And 
this particular product, they took it from a minimum, a minimum viable product and into a scale solution with over a thousand users and high adoption rate. So the client was very happy. In fact, I just want to, you know, very proud of something that the client said about the process. And I'm just going to read, read the quote. My experience with Clermont has been good in terms of the resumes provided. It's not just a general pool of candidates that I have to sit and sift through to get to the right set of candidates. There's a great depth of applied understanding that makes even the first batch of resumes very close to the final one. And that was from the director of data engineering. And that felt really good to hear that because I often hear clients where they feel that their resumes, they just get a bunch, a whole stack that they have to go through and it doesn't always even match what they're looking for. So it requires a full understanding and even like I said, bonus of soft skills because there were um, sort of like hoops they had to jump through to get there. So right. it sounded like a, you know, a very successful for everybody all around. Yes. And this was a consulting assignment that um, kept getting extended to over a year and a half. So very successful. Thank you so much for sharing this experience. Thank you.